Why is it that some patients are not good candidates for BBL? Well, there can be a variety of reasons. So number one, first off, is always health. So if there's some medical problem that could make your surgery more risky, then we don't do it. Your safety is the number one priority. It's really one, two, and three. So if there's a medical condition that could potentially complicate recovery or lead to a complication, then that would rule you out as a patient for a BBL. Probably the number one reason that would exclude somebody or make them not a good candidate for a BBL is if they have too much internal fat. That's the visceral fat that's inside the body, that's the fat behind the muscle, that's in your organs, that's in your mesentery, your peritoneum, all of that. If you have too much of that internal fat, I can't remove it during liposuction. And it's going to not give you a good result if you have too much internal fat. And the second thing is, it can increase your risk of complications. So if you have too much internal fat, that would rule you out as a candidate for BBL. The other thing that can get in the way of you having a BBL is if you have extra skin. So if you have a lot of loose skin on the tummy, it just can't have a BBL because you can't do the liposuction. I tell patients doing liposuction on this really loose skin. Remember, liposuction is very vigorous. If you have this loose skin, it's akin to playing soccer with a grocery shopping bag, the little plastic bag. Try kicking that down the field. That's impossible. So try doing lipo and somebody has a lot of extra skin. That's impossible. So those patients would have to have a tummy tuck first. So the other thing, the fourth point I had mentioned is that if your hemoglobin is too low, we need you to have a normal hemoglobin because with liposuction you can lose blood you do lose blood i use a cell saver where i scavenge up blood and give it back to the patient that helps but if your hemoglobin is too low then we're not able to do surgery and that number is usually 11.5 it has to be in the normal range of what other laboratories are that you go to it's usually about 11.5 those are the main reasons uh, that would prevent you from having a bbl